An incorrect HT lead or high tension lead can damage the ignition coil and this video will show you why. Welcome to the Repair Specialist channel. I'm Craig, the owner and creator, and having been in the trade for around 30 years, I now make videos relating to the diagnosis and repair of small engines and machinery, and how things work and why, and in layman's terms, using clear visual explanations to help you gain a deeper understanding and a firmer knowledge base. Why? Because knowledge is power. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's look into this. As we've already said, something that's said to be a common cause of ignition coil damage is an incorrect HT lead or high tension lead. And these leads are specially designed to carry high voltage out of the coil to the spark plug. But each type of lead that's designed for a certain type of coil is designed with a specific resistance to current flow for that particular coil. And because they are made for each other, electricity flows out of the coil, through the lead, through the spark plug and into the engine body, correctly and at the right flow for this particular coil. And so let's say that this lead is incorrect. This doesn't happen too much these days because the leads are generally bonded to the coils. But in the past I have known it where incorrect HT leads have been fitted to coils, usually when some repair work has been done. And so in some cases these HT leads can be fitted without any consideration to it being the correct resistance for the coil. So if one is fitted to this coil let's say, and the resistance through the lead is too high, the electrical current is made in the coil and it's finding it difficult to go through the HT lead to the spark plug and to the engine body and that produces a lot of heat and potentially heat damage. But how or why would it do this? What happens? Well, the regulating system built into the coil recognises the lack of electric current flow going out and basically it senses that the spark plug isn't getting enough current. So in response to that, it upregulates the current even more, with the intention of giving the spark plug the amount of current it needs for a sufficient spark. Basically, it's trying to compensate for the lack of flow going through by creating more current with the hopes of pushing more through. But the resistance won't allow any more current to flow down there than what it's designed to do so and there isn't really a clear path for this high level of current to shoot through. This is what can create a lot of heat. And very briefly then, in what way does this heat damage the coil? If we take our coil here and take a cross-sectional view from this angle, there's the iron core in the centre, and then there's the primary coil here wrapped around it. Then there's the secondary coil here, wrapped around all of them, and then we have a layer of insulation here between the iron core and the primary coil, another one here between the primary coil and the secondary coil, and then we have the outer insulation encapsulating everything. The wire that makes up the coil windings is also insulated itself, it has an outer insulation like this. So the heat produced can be unbearable to the coil. And that, in no doubt, could affect the integrity of the insulation within the coil. So then, if this insulation was damaged, no longer providing the separation from the inner core of each strand of wire as it coils round, what we would get is a situation where the electron flow current is shorting across from one piece of the wire in a certain area to another. This shorting across of the current means that the current would no longer be flowing through the coil like this as it should be, which it needs to do to produce an efficient electromagnetic field, which I've explained in more detail in the full length video. And so not producing a sufficient electromagnetic field means that there's insufficient current to produce a spark in the spark plug, and therefore the coil has gone bad. Okay, so the insulation within the coil itself keeping the compartments of the coil separate. Heat damage to this insulation can allow that sort of shorting across of electricity as we've already seen. 
as well as the heat damage to the coil and the insulative material to these coil packs, there are other delicate components such as resistors, transistors and diodes etc within the coil that would undoubtedly get damaged due to overheating. So from what I've mentioned in this video then, most of the reasons why a coil goes bad is because the insulation is somehow damaged and loses its integrity. So in this scenario over time is most likely going to result in the coil overheating and damage occurring inside of it. But let's say this lead is correct for this particular coil we can still have issues here in terms of not allowing that electricity through at the right level. And that is if there are slight breaks and gaps inside this lead. Obviously you probably wouldn't be able to see this but if there was a slight gap in this lead preventing the electricity from just flowing out the way it should do then it's got to arc across that gap and if the gap's too much then of course it won't be able to arc that far. Also the connection between the HT lead and the spark plug cap. It's important to make sure that's a good solid connection and there's no slight gaps there because as we've already seen if there is slight gaps it's going to cause a resistance for that flow to get out of the coil and it's going to make the coil work harder and cause problems. And now I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to watch the full length video if you want to do so. It's in the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. <laughs>